How's it going everyone? Welcome to the Ultimate Game Realms, a Christmas special 2021. Now it's been the first Christmas special I did since the 2018 episode, which was the first Christmas special I did, where I practically didn't have many other games to talk about that are Christmas related, ex except that there were some bigger projects relating to it, it's just that I don't have enough time to put into, just like this year. And sometimes I didn't have enough time to put it, any effort into them like the last two years. Pretty much in the 2021 episode, it's going to be the same concept. Random cheap Steam games involving Christmas. Now back in 2018, I was talking about Secret Santa. Games like Secret Santa, where you play as Santa, going down every enemy to drop off presents and avoid getting detected by grandmas or dogs or children that attack you or mistaking you as an intruder. You just drop off presents without being detective and escape out the way you came in. And the last game I talked about on that episode was uh, Christmas Adventure Candy Storm, which is a hidden object game I found for a good deal. Now it's a pretty good one. And there's also a lot of good Christmas hidden object games, like the Christmas Story games, which are 10 bucks each. Thing is, I just didn't get a chance to get any of them yet, and I probably should, because they look fun to get into. Probably do a Let's Play on them start next year. Now let's talk about the middle game, a Christmas race. Now why am I talking about this one last? Because I got a little loose end. Christmas race is the game where you actually are Santa and you're on a sled snowing downhill collecting presents. You just go straight down, but you have to hold down the left mouse button to turn left to avoid crashing and let go at precisely the right moment to go straight down. Main thing is to do is get presents and avoid hitting obstacles. Of course there's always continues though and you don't lose any uh, presents after you crash. But every time when you start obstacles change all the time so best thing you do is collect as many presents as you can to get a bonus and avoid as many obstacles as possible. Not really a bonus if you collect many, you just collect many as you can without crashing. Of course I also mentioned that there was a sequel, Christmas Race 2, which was an early access at the time, but since three years ago it came out of early access. And I played it finally, and it's the same game. Very simple, just like the first game, except with a little uh, better uh, textures to the game. And plus, you can also uh, buy out uh, other characters and other sleds with the presents you earn at a certain price. So that's a pretty cool change. But other than that, it's a pretty same game. Same old music over and over again. Just one song, just the same thing. So that's pretty much wraps it up with the Christmas Race games. And the loose ends from the 2018 episode. Now let's get down to business. Christmas Special 2021. Now, the 2018 episode was targeted towards all audience, but 2021 is going to be more of a mature audience target towards, at least from this point on, so be aware. First game on the list, Long Live Santa. Obviously, it's another Minecraft type of graphics here. Well, it's at a different gameplay, actually. It's also an online multiplayer only from the looks of it. We'll see how it is. Okay, so obviously this is all about battling on who will be the surviving Santa. Uh, what the fuck am I doing here? Pro pressing every controls and all I'm doing is just moving around like this. And I'm not into online multiplayer games anyway. Especially with this turd. That was a waste of time. Fuck this game. Next. Santa Claus. And this is not an ordinary Santa Claus game they were targeting for. It's actually meant to be a little, kind of a little scare tactic to the game. It's not really a survival horror game in general. And then look how they spell claws. Like, for like... Cat claws or bear claws and shit. Oh, 
Holy shit! Now that scared me. This cheap indie game is just a walking simulator more than a survival horror game. It's not a horror game at all, actually, from the looks of it. It's just something to put in for jump scares, I guess. The game is pretty short from the looks of it, and it's just okay, but it's nothing special. Now if you really want a Christmas horror game, I would go Christmas Massacre, done by the same people who did Murder House. And like Murder House, it has the same PlayStation 1 graphics, plus it has the awesome 80s slasher horror vibe to it. I haven't purchased the game yet, but judging from looking at the pics in the trailer, it looks pretty badass. Even though as of right now it has mixed reviews, because it just came out. Best wait for the year before I decide to review the game itself. Hopefully I'll have all the bugs and quirks worked out by then. Shouldn't be that difficult since it's a retro style game and it's practically a short one. Judging from the previous games by the same developer. But I also can't wait till I get into it. Probably not anytime soon though. Okay, next game. Now I think it's time to rock and roll with this one. Santa Rockstar! Okay. Of course, judging from the sound of it, it is actually a musical type game. Rip off the Guitar Hero. That's pretty cool. All you're doing is uh, pushing keys to match the notes. You also have the option to hold your keyboard as a guitar and, and type in, in the notes. Which is a pretty cool thing. You're the Santa Rockstar character with... Uh, with two reindeers as a bandmates, bassist and drummer. That's pretty cool actually. Just that I'm not really good at it. So this one's definitely a pass. Just gotta get the hang of it first. Next and final Christmas special Steam game of 2021. And this game is the winner. Headbangers and Holiday Hell. Yes, another rock and roll Christmas adventure. Well, this one's actually an adventure. The other one was just a musical simulator game. This one's more of a real adventure. And the main villain in this game is Santa himself. Or someone dressed as Santa with his little minions, which are his little helpers. And this Christmas adventure as a prime example of music as the weapon. The ultimate power of heavy metal. The type of gameplay is actually like an action rogue twin stick shooter type. The protagonist in this game, you're this rocker dude who looks like Lemmy of Motorhead. God rest his soul. You're just going on a shooting and rescue spree by shooting a bunch of Santa's minions and blowing stuff up and saving your metal friends. From the looks of it, this gameplay is inspired by Zombies Ate My Neighbors. But in this game, you can also get, can get weapon upgrades and special upgrades for your character the more you progress. The game is quite a bit challenging. It takes a lot of practice before we get the better aim. But from the looks of it, upgrades do last forever. This is definitely one game I like to do a standalone on someday. And by far, Headbangers and Holiday Hell is the number one Christmas game of 2021 in this list. That's pretty much all I gotta say about this Christmas special 2021 from the indie game list that I have in my library. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, and just in case I don't do any more projects before 2022, Happy New Year!
This is Dixon of the Ultimate Game Room, logging off. Yeah. Come here, all junior.